Salate de scipulae. Today's lesson is on the substantive adjectives. This is lesson 28 in your Latin for Americans textbook. This is not a particularly long lesson, um, and in fact, you have no new forms to learn. We're going to review the first and second um, declension uh, endings as part of this lesson, um, but you just need to know a new way that an adjective can work. The substantive adjective, okay? Now, because Latin adjectives have gender numbering case, the Romans didn't feel it necessary to write man, woman, or thing after their adjectives, right? Because the adjective would tell you if it was masculine or feminine or neuter. Um, so they would just leave the noun out. Um, only if the noun would have been weir, femina, um, or a generic word for thing. Um, the gender implies what noun you should translate after it. So if you have an adjective in a sentence that is not describing a noun, meaning that it's not in the same gender numbering case as a noun, you have a substantive adjective, so-called because it takes on the substance of a noun, okay? So how do you translate substantive adjectives? It depends on the gender and number of the adjective. Um, but if you have a masculine adjective, you're going you're gonna to include the word man after it. If it's masculine plural, it'll be men, right? If you have a feminine singular adjective, you include the word woman, um, plural women. If it's a neuter singular thing, neuter plural things. You also have to translate the adjective according to its case, just like you would a noun, right? Because this is an adjective that has taken on the substance of a noun. Um, so you have to follow the same rules. For example, if you see the word bona, you would know, hopefully from context, that this is the nominative singular, um, nominative singular feminine, bona. So you would translate it the good woman, right? You translate it like a nominative and you translate it like a feminine singular, woman. But if you see bonarum, that's genitive plural feminine, so you have to translate bonarum of the good women, okay? Now, here is just a review of the first, second declension adjective endings. And in fact, I want you to push pause and to write down these endings in your notebook so you have a nice, clear review chart um, of how you decline the adjective. Okay, so why don't you push pause? I'll just sit here and hum to myself. Do, 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 do. Okay, you ready? All right, once you have written down these endings, we can go through a review of um, how we're going to translate all of these substantive adjectives, okay? So, what you see here is a chart that I made that gives you the masculine singular, feminine singular, neuter singular, masculine plural, feminine plural, neuter plural for all of the cases. So, if you see the substantive adjective bonus, you know to translate it a good man. If you see bonos, good men. If you see bonis, depending on the context of the sentence, it's gonna be two or four of the good men or women or things, right? If you see bone, oh good man, right? And again, I want you to take a couple of minutes, push pause, and copy out this, this chart because it will help you, okay? Now, the last thing we need to do is just look at some examples of how substantive adjectives are going to work within a sentence. So, for example, Agricola bonus polcrom amabat. We have two adjectives in the sentence, bonus and polcrom. Bonus, that U.S. ending tells us that it's masculine singular nominative. Is there a masculine singular nominative for bonus to be describing? Oh, yes, there is. Agricola, right? Agricola is masculine singular nominative. The second adjective we have is polcrom, feminine singular um, accusative. Do we have a feminine singular accusative noun to, um, for this adjective to be describing? No, we do not. Therefore, polcrom is our um, substantive adjective. So when we translate the sentence, we're going to translate subject verb, direct object, the good farmer was loving, the beautiful, and then we have to add 
either man, woman, or thing, depending on the gender and number of pulchrum. Since pulchrum is accusative singular uh, feminine, it's going to be the good farmer was loving the beautiful woman. Okay? Iquus otium magnum efficit. Iquus and magnum are our two adjectives. So why don't you think about this for a second and tell me which of these adjectives is the substantive adjective, or maybe both are, but why don't you take a minute and think. Magnum is describing otium, so that's not, that's not um, substantive, that's going to be great leisure, right? But is Iquis describing anything in the sentence? It is not. Now, since it is masculine and singular, and the subject because it's nominative, we're going to translate this Iquis. A calm man produces great leisure or great peace, right? Okay, what about this last sentence? Mali palca amicis miserunt. How many adjectives do we have? Okay, we got two. We got Mali. Ooh, ooh. Hold on one second. My finger got ahead of me. Sorry, we have Mali and we have palca, right? Um, amicis is a noun. So let's break this down. We know we're going to need a, pl a plural subject. We know that Molly can be nominative, plural, masculine. So this is um, a substantive or not a substantive? Is this describing something? No, it is not. So Molly, the bad men, miserant, sent, palka. Now, if this is accusative, the only time an A can be an accusative ending is if it's neuter plural, so this has to be a neuter plural ending. The bad men sent few things, neuter, amicis, to their friends. Okay, um, I hope that you guys have a lovely evening, and I will see you uh, in class. Walete.